Welcome back to this week's episode of Fish Smart. I'm Kian, the Sustainable Seafood Coordinator for the Minnesota Zoo, and on this week's menu, we've got Chilean sea bass. Chilean sea bass is a really fun fish to talk about because it's a great recovery story. From the 1990s to the early 2000s, it was a really popular restaurant fish, which led to over-exploitation of the fisheries. But now, with proper management, those populations have been able to recover, making it a really good sustainable choice. On today's menu, we're going to be making a really nice dinner for two. We're going to be taking that sea bass and really gently pan roasting it, which we're going to serve on top of a bed of braised radicchio and white beans. And we're going to top it with this really nice, almost ragu or relish of bacon, onions, oyster mushrooms, and roasted red peppers. We're going to start today's dish by thinly slicing about two to three strips of bacon. We're gonna turn our oven on over medium high heat and add our pan. And to that, we're gonna add just a little touch of olive oil. Once that oil's good and hot, we're gonna add our bacon. We're gonna take one half of a red onion. We're gonna go ahead and thinly slice that. Now with our bacon starting to crisp up, we're gonna go ahead and add in our sliced onions. We're gonna let those cook together until those onions get nice and caramelized. We're gonna dice up three roasted red peppers. When your bacon's crisp and the onions are all caramelized, go ahead and add in your diced red pepper. Now that the peppers have cooked down and incorporated into the mix a little better, we're gonna go ahead and add in our mushrooms. As the mushrooms are taking in all those flavors, what we're gonna to wanna to do is deglaze our pan with a little sherry vinegar or apple cider vinegar will also work if you have it. Once everything's cooked down and come together, season with a little bit of salt. Stir it around and remove from heat and set off to the side. To start the radicchio, we're gonna heat up about a tablespoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter over medium high heat. When your butter gets all white and frothy, that's the time to add in the radicchio. We're also gonna add in a can of white beans that we've already rinsed. We're gonna give that a toss. We're gonna to season with a little salt and squeeze in the juice of one clementine. Then we wanna add in about a cup or so of chicken stock. And we're gonna bring that to a simmer. When your radicchio's cooked down and the stock's mostly cooked out, go ahead and give it another squeeze of the clementine juice and add in about a small handful of chopped cilantro. To cook the fish, heat up about a tablespoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter into a pan over medium high heat. And when that butter melts down, becomes white and frothy, add in your fish fillets. And we're gonna gently baste them to help for even cooking. Once you notice that the fish is cooked about three quarters of the way up the side and nicely golden brown, go ahead and flip them over and just let them finish cooking for about another minute or two. Sea bass is a really fun fish to use because it holds up to a lot of different flavors like we used in today's dish. And remember, to stay up to date on sustainable seafood information, tips, and recipes, follow us online at facebook.com slash fishsmartmnzoo or on Twitter at fishsmartmn. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button below.